summer is officially here and to celebrate, I'm kicking off the Your Watercolor Summer Challenge. This will be a weekly challenge, so it's not overwhelming, and it will consist of weekly tips, techniques, and hacks to make painting all summer long fun and easy. Hi, I'm Chris Fee from OctopusConnection.com, and I'm a former high-end retail management professional turned freelance artist. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Chris, the kids are home from school. I have family visiting. I'm getting ready to travel myself, and my life is generally upside down. I can relate to having a busy life, and summer is often like life 2.0. But I've found ways of continuing to paint even in the midst of all that, and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. I highly recommend getting out of your normal zone to experience new people, places, and foods. It's great to spend extra time with your family and friends, but at the end of a break in your painting practice, it can be confusing and leave you feeling a bit displaced or disconnected to your process. Maybe you can relate. Sometimes I feel like I have to rediscover my creative self all over again. When the reality is that when I come back from a situation like this, I come back a slightly different person, having been altered by all those new experiences, and I have to reconnect with my art. So I figured out a few hacks that if I can't completely stop this from happening, I can largely minimize it. So there isn't such a big gap when I try to get back into the swing of things. Let me add that I absolutely love to save memories with photos and videos, but when I capture my special moments with my watercolors, it goes to a whole nother level. And it doesn't have to be complicated. I'm gonna show you how I'm able to quickly and easily create paintings of places I've been, people I've met, and fun things I did. If you're not that experienced or feel like you're not that good at watercolors, this may all seem really hard, but it doesn't have to be. Over the summer, I'm gonna share what I've learned over the years that really helped me bridge the gap between struggling to do this and doing it almost effortlessly. Today, I'll kick this challenge off by sharing a few introductory tips with you. Tip number one, create your own DIY travel painting set. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how I DIY my very own painting set and exactly what I include in it and why. I take this little set with me everywhere I travel, but it's also great around town, when I go to the park, and I can even take it out with me in my yard. And yes, I see my yard every day, and that might seem boring, but when something ordinary is painted, something magical happens. It's no longer ordinary. It takes on a whole new life that you notice, and you notice the subject matter in a whole new way. It's now a thing of beauty and something you might even want to frame or turn into an art print or greeting card. And that's exactly what happens when you paint your adventures and special memories. Now, I know you think this sounds difficult and time consuming, but it's neither of those things. There is a bit of a learning curve in the beginning, but that takes me to tip number two, which is using a loose painting style. If you don't know what that is, it's a way of sort of quickly laying down your paints, blurring your objects a bit, and generally capturing a subject matter in a non-perfect way. It could sound messy, but bear with me for a moment because some of my most beautiful paintings have been captured with a loose style. So we'll be going over this in a later video. That brings me to tip number three, which is mentally turning off your perfection switch. Now imagine that the part of you that wants your art to look a certain way can be shut off with a switch. I know it sounds easier said than done, but bear with me a moment and just close your eyes. See that perfection button or lever and visually turn it to the off position. Now imagine you're free to paint anything in any way you want without any judgment. Paint for the joy of painting. Paint because you like to paint and for no other reason. This is actually how I teach in my membership and my classes and my courses and you will improve faster than you can imagine. These are paintings that you can use for postcards, greeting cards, t-shirts, notebooks. You can use this art to open up POD shops, use your skills to teach your own classes even. But if you don't want to do any of that, 
you'll still be able to keep growing your skills and capturing your memories with your kids, your family, your friends, your pets, using easy tips and techniques I'll be sharing with you all summer. I'll be going into a lot more detail in the coming weeks on all of these tips and more as we go forward. Are you ready to join the Your Summer Watercolors Weekly Challenge? Like this video, hit the subscribe button, and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any part of this series. Then scroll below to the description to join my private Facebook group so you can post your work and get feedback. Then I'll see you in the next video in the Your Watercolor Summer Challenge to build your own DIY travel watercolor painting set. Bye for now.